Fire danger is going to be high again tomorrow. We are expecting winds that will be even stronger than the winds we had out there today. Red flag warnings will go into effect beginning at 11 o'clock for the areas in red. This does include Colorado Springs, Pueblo, Walsenburg, out across the lower Arkansas River Valley into the southeastern corner of the state. Red flag warnings stay in effect until 8 o'clock. Please be extra careful outside tomorrow. One of those days where we could see rapid fire growth with any fires that do develop. Checking out your wind speeds as we head through the remainder of the night, winds are going to continue to lighten up. Heading into early tomorrow morning, calm conditions expected for most, at least relatively speaking. Enjoy it while it lasts because it won't. As we head into tomorrow afternoon, the winds are going to increase. Here's a look at lunchtime. We should have wind speeds between 15 and 25 miles per hour. Winds will increase even further through late tomorrow afternoon and into tomorrow evening. Here's a look at 6 o'clock. Wind speeds ranging between 25 and 30 miles per hour. Now, these are sustained wind speeds, which means the gusts are expected to be even higher. We could get gusts to 40 miles per hour tomorrow afternoon, which is why fire danger is so high. Obviously, that will allow for very quick spreading fires to develop if we do get those sparks. So please be careful outside. Wind speeds will stay fairly gusty through the early tomorrow night because we do have a cold front moving through. So even at 10 o'clock, we'll still be tracking 10 to 20. 20 mile per hour winds across southern Colorado. As far as any chances for rain, not looking like we're going to see anything significant tomorrow. We'll have clearing skies through lunchtime and into the early afternoon. The only area where we could get a few scattered showers tomorrow afternoon will be up near the ski resorts, lower elevations. All we get tomorrow is the wind. Temperatures will be just a few degrees cooler than they were out there today. We'll have 65 in Colorado Springs, 70 in Pueblo, 74 degrees will be your high temperature in La Junta, but with the wind, it's not going to feel very pleasant to spend a lot of time outside. Want to jump ahead to your seven day forecast? That cold front moves through tomorrow and it is going to cool down your Thursday. Thursday's high temperature, 50 degrees. Unfortunately, Thursday is going to stay very windy with gusts to 40 miles per hour possible again. Combined wind with those 50 degree temperatures is going to feel a lot cooler than it actually is. We'll have a slight chance for a few showers as that front pushes through late on Wednesday. Won't see much in the way of water though. We'll get another shot at a few showers late on Thursday. But again, we don't have a lot of water to work with, so anything that does develop should be pretty light. 61 degrees on Friday. We'll keep 60s around through the weekend, and we are going to stay dry into early next week. Pueblo tomorrow, 70 degrees and very windy. 58 then on Thursday with the wind in place. Should see lighter winds Friday through the weekend. Temperatures getting back into the 70s for Saturday and Sunday. Canyon City, 67 degrees tomorrow, 57 on Thursday. We'll keep the 60s in place Friday, Saturday again on Sunday. Monday still in the 60s. Tuesday we bump it back into the 70s. Teller County could see a few sprinkles again as that cold front moves through late tomorrow, but not enough to really mitigate the high fire danger that we have across the state. Another shot at showers late on Thursday before a dry Friday and weekend on tap and that dry weather not something that we want to see a whole lot more of hopefully mother nature can help us out a bit we need some water across the state I mean my skin is dry the ground is dry you can feel how dry it is here in Colorado so hopefully